very good evening. You're watching Big Bang with me, Shruti. The pre-university students heaved a sigh of relief today after writing their last exam of the academic year. It is now time for SSLC students to gear up for a busy couple of weeks. Hall tickets have been distributed, examination centers have been allotted, and invigilators have been assigned. Ten standard students are busy preparing for what some might call the most important challenge in any student's life. SSLC examinations of 2014 are all set to begin tomorrow. 3,016 examination centers across the state will soon be bustling with students walking the halls. The first paper is scheduled at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. Officials were seen marking the benches with roll numbers for students to identify their seats. There are more than 8,26,000 students writing the SSLC exams this year, the majority of which are boys. 4,11,011 boys and 3,73,989 girls are preparing for a busy couple of weeks ahead. There are also 2,514 specially able students attending the exams this year. From the 2,514 differently able students attending their 10th boards this year, 473 students are visually impaired, 533 are hearing and speech impaired and 848 are physically challenged. Separate arrangements have been made for these students to sit in clusters with their guardians during the exams. The examination centers are provided with wheelchairs and ramps to make it easier for them. There are a total of 3,016 examination centers across Karnataka for this year's exams. Among these, 163 sensitive centers and 51 extra sensitive centers have been identified. District officials have been briefed through video conferencing and all measures have been taken to curb malpractices during exams. Among the 3,016 examination centers, 214 centers have been identified which demand extra attention from the invigilator squads. There will be sitting squad, mobile squad, and uh, we have uh, already received the question papers and we are depositing the district treasuries in safe custody. So we have taken all action uh, for the smooth conduct of the exam. Uh, we have requested a deputy commissioner to uh, give all uh, uh, protection to, uh, near the examination centers. Uh, Superintendent of police have uh, also been informed to give police protection uh, to the examination uh, centers. The state's high school examination board seems to have taken every precaution to ensure the SSLC exams this year are conducted without a hitch. As long as the students are well prepared to face the papers, it is just a stepping stone to a brighter future. Amrita Patel, News 9, Bengaluru. RTE Act was brought into action to make quality education more accessible, but ever since its implementation, the Act has been marred in controversies. Here is yet another school which is taking advantage of the Act. There have been numerous cases of schools demanding money from parents who seek admission for the award under RTE Act. This is against the law because the whole point of the Act is to provide free education. Well, a school in Bashweshwar Nagar demands money, not in rupees, but in pounds. 18 students got admission at the National Academy for Learning under RTE for this academic year. While the parents were overjoyed at this, they were furious when the school demanded so-called admission fees while accepting the students. That was the abroad university. Cambridge abroad university, London, academic office, that was tuition fees. Per month, that was tuition fees. School is 48 pounds. 48 pounds per month is 48 pounds. Yearly, 2 lakhs per month is 48 pounds. Yearly, 2 lakhs per month is 48 pounds. Yearly, 2 lakhs per month. The school has stated that since their management comes under the wing of Cambridge University, the students are sent abroad twice a year. They further added that the students will be admitted only if the parents can afford the expenses of the trip, which comes up to about 2 lakh rupees. टू लाख साधा होता है मत्ते इली नारे मक्कलो जास्ती होता रहा है सो निम्गो और स्टेटस को सूट आगला सो निवो बेटर निवो बेरस कुल का ट्राई मारिए ना थेरी दरा इल्ला नाव आदि क्या इली मत्ते हिनों दे ने डरा था कन्नड़ सब्जेक्ट इल्ला इटैलियन लैटिनो फ्रेंचो जापान भाषा रहता आदु निम निम्गो ता� the parents have lodged a complaint with the Education Department and Child Welfare Society. But on further probe, 
It was found that no such complaints have been reported. Management of National Academy of Learning has not demanded fees from parents of students admitted under RTE Act. They have stated that the parents have instead been briefed on the rules pertaining to the school. If there are any complaints against the school regarding implementation of RTE, we will issue a notice to the school authorities. Well, this is definitely not the first complaint against exploitation of the Act. But the fact that such cases continue to crop up raises questions on the proper implementation of this Act. Amrita Patil, News 9, Bengaluru. Want admissions in a good college with great infrastructure? Don't go by ads in papers or in a college prospectus. Here are reasons as to why. This is Royal Group of Institutions, a college that boasts about its world-class facilities and its prospectus. Well, don't go by the prospectus, folks. Take a look at the institution for yourselves. These students on your screen went by the advertisements posted in Andhra newspapers and got admission to this college. They were asked to pay a heavy fee as well. Though the college says that it specializes in aeronautical engineering, students studying here claim that the college offers diploma and not engineering. According to the students, the academic year started in January and ended in March. Students who returned to college after their vacation had a surprise waiting for them. What was once an aeronautical engineering college is now a school. Yes, the students who returned to college were shocked to see this transformation. The college has turned into a school in a span of two months. These students called the college head Venu Gopal for clarification and asked for their fees to be reimbursed. All they got as their reply was nothing doing from him. A student's parent turned up all the way from Hyderabad to inquire and she too ended up disappointed by Venu Gopal's response. We spoke to Venu Gopal regarding transformation of a college into a school. His explanation made little sense. The students who have lost their money and time now just want their money back. They want to go back to their hometown and pursue their studies in a different college. The question is, who will come to their rescue? Shobha Jojiga, News 9, Bengaluru. And well, a shocking robbery has happened in Begur. A real estate developer's office has been robbed in Begur. This is the big news that we are tracking at this point in time. Real estate developer's office was robbed at gunpoint. The office belongs to SMT builders and developers. Four robbers looted the office at gunpoint. And the Electronic City Corps have visited the spot to investigate further. And nab the culprits the electronic city cops who visited the spot a shocking robbery has come to light from begur four robbers uh, rob smt builders at gunpoint real estate developers office uh, was robbed at gunpoint the office belonged to smt builders and developers it is said that four robbers looted the SMT developers at gunpoint. Well, for more on this, I'm joined in by my colleague Anil. Anil, what more can you tell us about this? Oh, well, Shruti, the incident took place at around 9 p.m. That's hardly an hour back. Now, it is, uh, it is being reported that around uh, 9 p.m., four people on two bikes, they entered, they barged into the office, the SMT builders and developers. They, uh, they brandished uh, uh, machetes and they also carried uh, guns with them. And there were around seven people in the office at that time. So they threatened each one of them and uh, they made away with almost 60,000 in cash. But they also took away uh, the mobile phones, the, the gold ornaments they were wearing, rings, everything uh, that the office staff had. So the incident took place at around uh, 9 uh, p.m. Shruti. Well, a shocking robbery indeed that has come to light, Anil. Uh, indeed, uh, Shruti, uh, there has never been such an incident actually at around 9 in the night. This happens to be a very busy area in Bengaluru. So now uh, this indeed is uh, shocking because uh, four people barged into a real estate office and they looted the entire office on gunpoint. And before they left, they also made it a point to fire uh, blank shots in the air, uh, threatening the uh, people present in the office not to file a complaint. And they also had machetes with them. If uh, the office people did uh, resist it, uh, probably something untoward could have happened. Now, they also carried uh, guns with them. And uh, the scariest part is just before they left, 
as a warning signal they fired blank shots in the air so this this goes about to show that the people who attempted the, the people who uh, did make away with the cash were not some local goons or local rowdies probably they are uh, you know uh, they are the ones who have been in this field for quite some time and they know how to carry about their business. So that that is very in, uh, shocking indeed, Shruti. Well, uh, Anil, do we have any information of how much money was looted? Uh, uh, it is being said that around 60,000 has been looted. And, uh, uh, the proprietor of this uh, uh, real estate company, Mr. Kiran, was, ha uh, was carrying around 50,000 uh, in cash with him. Another employee by name Shiva Reddy had 10,000 in cash with him. So the 60,000 was looted. And they also made sure to take away all the branded equipments uh, was present in the office, like the Rado watch the proprietor was wearing and uh, the two mobile phones his assistant was carrying. Uh, apart from 60,000, all this has uh, gone missing, Shruti. Well, thank you so much, Anil, for joining in with all those details. Well, indeed, a shocking robbery coming to light from Begur at... 9 p.m. Around 9 p.m., four robbers entered entered SMT developer's office and looted around 60,000 rupees at gunpoint. The Electronic City cops have visited the place and are investigating the matter and are trying to uh, nab the culprits as soon as possible. Moving on, a lift of a government building in Hudson Circle came crashing down, injuring one person. The incident occurred at the Bescom office and the victim has been identified as Yashoda, an assistant engineer with Bescom. She has been admitted to her smart hospital where she will undergo surgery tomorrow. Well, here's what Yashoda had to say after she suffered a fracture on her right leg. अरे 135 लंच टाइम मलवा कार के अगरे पार्क में रहते हैं लिफ्ट टा लोगों ना आते हैं वो तो लिफ्ट को दे अरे थर्ड फ्लोर को कोई फोर्थ फ्लोर को क्या अली जना जास्ती आ गई तो मत्ते ये तो तो सेकंड फ्लोर और को नॉर्मल वो उन तो सर्दन ना के अगरे बित बुट्टा आधे लल स्प्रिंग के रोत्रे लल होल्स Moving on, Bengalurians face a common problem that is related to water. Today, News 9 got access to BWSSB accounts in which a whopping rupees 197 crore loss has been incurred by the BWSSB. Statistics related to BWSSB's profits and losses have raised a few questions. There were 2,50,000 consumers in 2004 and BWSSB made a profit of 74 crores the same year. In 2013, BWSSB had 8,00,000 consumers, but what's shocking is that BWSSB suffered a loss of a whopping 197 crores. The question doing the rounds is the water board's losses, despite the number of consumers increasing in the last few years. One of the reasons as to why it has incurred losses is its failure to detect leaks. It is believed that BWSSB supplies 1,250 million litres of water a day. 40% of the 1,250 litres supplied is wasted due to leakages in the pipelines. To find out the pipes with leaks and to initiate repair and reconstruction is a difficult task and needs dedicated budget allotment. According to the Water Board Employees Association, the loss suffered by BWSSB is due to the water mafia and a lack of engineers.